Best for TV today. Man, you know what's happening, man. When they talk about anything, they talking about a three times. It's Trilliano, huh? We talking about trillions. We need it all, man. It's the level of success, baby. <laughs> like, everybody always wants trillions. What makes you make that? Like, your stage name and shit like that. Everybody want a trillion? Like, everybody, everybody want to make a That's You just said it, though. Everybody want a trillion, right? Yeah. And I know everybody want a trillion. Right. Trilliano. Yeah, I know. What's the three for? Cause you got three in front of that. It's more. It's all. Oh, it's more about me put in simplicity. Everything comes in three. It's a trio, whether it's good or bad. But you know, by the third time, it's either gonna be a charm or it's not gonna be it. So, How you come on with that logic? Easy. Just life in general. Just participating through life. You know, you would never understand no concept in life if you don't try to grow and level up. So if you always at a standstill point in life, you ain't never doing nothing. And you'll never understand, but if you're on a move, you're on a go, you're going to run into encounter, you're going to run into obstacles, you're going to run into problems, but you're only going to run into these situations if you move it forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so talk about life growing up. You seem pretty smart, so how, like, how was you in school and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, man, I'm a college graduate. You, you went to college? Yeah, man, CSU LA. Then I went to um, LA Film School for um, audio engineer. Uh, audio engineer. Post audio, all that. Yeah, film, I did all that, bro. Yeah, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? What made you get into that? Music, just being part of entertainment. And so you try to like learn different things behind the Actually, scenes. I was, I went far as like just uh, uh, trying to get my. For I didn't want to be mediocre when it came to the boards, engineering. Period. You know, when you in a studio with somebody and they recording your vocals and they got to mix and master your sound, yeah. you want to know how to tell somebody how you want to sound. If you don't know how to express your a certain way, then they ain't gonna understand you. Yeah. It's like a language, bro. So what is your sound? Huh? What is your sound? Like, oh man, see, as far as my sound, hey, I just feel like it, 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 it's like heartache, truth from the city. So if you think about anything West Coast, you can't really look at me like that. Cause I'm, I'm like versatile with but overall the genre, man, I'm everywhere, bro. I mean, let y'all label that. I mean, I let y'all label the sound because the sound just comes. You know, it's gonna come, it's gonna be there. How you find the sound? Man, being embedded, being embedded into poverty, coming up out of being a minority, in the hood, you know what I'm saying? It's a struggle. On the real. You see a lot of shit, you, you, you participate in a lot of shit, you feel me? You see, as far as learning experiences, you learn a whole lot in the hood and just growing up in the ghetto anyway, you feel me? So, you gotta take your experiences and just put them on steroids, bro. So you said you went to college like that, right? Yeah. So are you, how were you like in high school, middle school? Like were you like getting good grades or like that's what? See, I'm like the best of both worlds, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. See, yeah. I've been game banging. Look, I'm gonna run it down to you. I've been game banging since a knee high. Yeah. Like a knee high. What were you thinking? Like, 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 yeah, man, but Grape Street, man, you know I'm crimping, <laughs> baby. You know, I'm you know, that, that's, that's like one of the most famous games like in the world. Yeah, I'm a famous grape. You know what I mean? <laughs> you say you you say anything about Grape Street, I'm, I got a household name. Yeah, real good. Name. But just coming up like that, bro, like being street smart and book smart, it's an advantage. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know what to do in the streets, you know how to avoid certain problems and you know how to encounter certain situations. Now, when you in school Coming up, it's like a technique you use. You feel me? You hanging with the gangsters, but you can also be over here with the with the book smarts. You know what I'm saying? The school smart, you over here doing your thing. Now, when it's all said and done, you ain't no pushover, and you got the knowledge. So you just put forth that into the business, whatever you got going on. You use that same technique and saying that that's same sense. You feel me? All right. So talk about like, the great. Like, how'd you like join that set? More so, just born in it. You feel me? Cause I got a lot of family in this shit, but. Man, it, it, it was more so just the the community, you feel me? It's the people I go to school with every day, the people I come walk home with every day, the people I hang out with every day. So you, know you, were, you were forced to get into it, right? No, 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 no. It's nothing forced. Never nothing forced. It's like you grew you grew into a situation. It's never really considered a gang until y'all put a label on it. Because at the end of the day, we just all friends and family. You feel me? But we just from different communities. It's the world that put that so, name on it, you know right. what I'm saying? So, out here, I know like, there's a lot of bugs and crews, like those are the two most games. Yeah. Uh, do they really big on cuz like people with Mexican? Ah, yeah, uh, it's, it, uh, don't, don't, don't be naive to reality, like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's gangland out here for sure, you feel me? It's just all about how you maneuver 
through the streets. Now, if you don't carry yourself a certain type of way, it's a certain type of energy you're not gonna have to run into no problems. You know what I'm saying? But if you if you hold yourself up for being this type of individual, then you can't blame nobody when you get these type of problems. You feel me? It's just simple work, simple footwork. It, but you know, it's gangsters everywhere. Right. It's just the capital. You know, this where it started at. But don't get it wrong. You know, you got gangsters everywhere across the world. It's just here. You feel me? It's all about. What you know up here too though, because if you don't know how to communicate with people in a certain type of manner, then you're gonna always have trouble, especially in the hood. Yeah. Real for it. Yeah. I so like um I know you like I before telling you you working with YG, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's a blood. He's a blood. Talk about how they had a friendship relationship came about. It's funny cause like during that era, like he family for one, but other than that, it's like what um push in. Like first started, it was a lot of LA street gangs. LA but we came like before we came together, we was breaking um barriers. Those barriers, you feel me? It just by communicating with each other, hanging with each other, partying with each other, the world wasn't used to seeing so many LA gangs around each other and ain't no problem. So back like I said around 2000, 2009, we made it like a trend to like be cool and like have fun no matter where you're from. Yeah. So him being like he he from Paru, you feel me? Him being from Paru, but he from Compton too, so it's like we sister brother in neighbor cities like Hub and a dub. So anything as far as Compton, you gonna hear about it in Watts. Anything in Watts, you gonna hear about it in Compton. By us being neighbors, that just made it that much easier. But you know, when you when you got good energy and you and you see the bigger picture, you don't really worry about no colors and shit. It's uh, more about loyalty. As far as like um like yeah, man, goes, do you like ever see yourself like um like like squashing before your so called ops or something like that or? Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny because like all right. You, you you mature as you get older regardless. Everybody yeah. don't mature. Don't yeah. get me wrong, everybody don't don't mature. But when you been through a lot of situations as far as like real street shit and just not being naive to what you, what your life is, mm -hmm. then if you wanna see the bigger picture at the end of the day, I got kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it ain't just about me no more. Right. So I, I move different. But that doesn't mean I don't share that same attachment I shared with the hood back then. Yeah. I don't feel some type of way, but who don't? Yeah, and then but who don't want to live in peace though, bro? They want to they want to walk down the street on no problem. They want to walk in a storm peace. You feel me? But it's not all about that though. It's, you know, it's ignorant people everywhere. It's just about how you carry yourself. You feel me? So you recently just dropped a project called uh, the Money Wave. How how did you come up? See, look, the Money Wave and Outcheck, the Rack Sand. The you see talking about Rack Sand. The money way, now that's um my best friend named Money, right? Oh, yeah. But he he passed. Oh, sorry for your loss. Yeah, it's good, you know. It's but your street shit once again, you feel me? But he lost his life to some street shit, so it's more so like you want to take this path, or you want to take the path to success. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now, me and bro always used to have conversations about man just seeing the bigger picture and seeing a better life. He didn't make it to see this better life, but he watching us grow into it, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, this is a path we're going to take, we're going to keep. It's like, you want to keep that same energy we had attack when you was here, bro, so I'm going to keep that same plan, I'm just going to fulfill it. And that's the money way, you feel me? It ain't, it's, 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 you going to take this route, or you going to take that route, but everybody got their money way. It's yeah. all about your level of success and your right. success story. Uh, what made you pick those songs that were on the tape? Like, what, how did you go about picking songs? It's more so, it's, it's more so the, um, the mood I'm in, bro. A good good music is good music, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm not biased to good music at all. You know what I'm saying? So, for as far as that, it takes a while because I'm real picky. But it's all about the sound you're trying to develop. And if I'm in a certain type of mood, then that's what I'm gonna rock with. Like I can I can make ten good songs in one night, but only two or three would be good for a certain type of project that I'm pushing out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I see that um. There's a new song called Her Body, right? Oh, yeah. Talk about how that came about. Her Body came about shit. Um, the homie Mills had booked a studio session. He was like, hey, man, you want to record something? So, but he don't he don't even rap. He, you know, he like management, whatever. He ain't my manager, but you know he's doing his thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I went to the studio, and I just called up some homies. So I called, I hit 03. 03? And I hit the little homie Rob, too. Like, you know, some go-to friends. Like, yeah. uh, we just make music. Oh, so you close with 03 and uh, Rob, right? Yeah, what? Tell me you're in the show. What? 03? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That you just was listening to him when he came on. That's like, that song you heard when you first came to the shop? We did that 10 years ago, bro. 10 years ago? Yeah. You can read 03, no great. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother. Um, for us, like making music, mm -hmm. I met him. Um, 
met him through my homie um, Hustler Bubba. Hustler Bubba. Yeah, Hustler Bubba. He a pyro though. That's what's funny. Hustler yeah. Bubba, he pyro. You feel me? So it was more so I met him through Bubs. Uh, we been tight ever since though. You feel me? Uh, um, shit, we linked up, man. Like ten years ago, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like ten years ago, he hit me up like, bro, I fuck with your sound. Like Bubba, let me hear your, hear your shit. I'm like, man, I fuck with your music, Bubba, let me hear your shit. And we got a link. This on some regular shit. But when I put up the link with him, we end up hanging with each other like every day. So I'm like, man, fuck, we gonna you know, go on my side of town and party and hang out. Like, bro, just ever since then we been cool, like like brothers. You feel me? You still chop it up with him to this day? Yeah, I just wrote him a letter, just like. Just sent him a letter two or three days ago. I heard, I heard he got a chance at a pill. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, yeah he, he should be out 2020. 2020? Yeah. So, so, so talk about what a project got coming out next and shit like that. Well, the album, the album is the money. That's the actual, that's the full body work. Yeah, what's your, like, what's your next project? Now, after that, I got Jacket for Beats. It's really not, I don't know which one gonna come first. But it's Jacket for Beats. I'm working on this tape with my boy Eastwood. Eastwood, that's a producer? Um, yeah, producer, writer. Um, he an artist as well. Mm -hmm. um, if you look him up, you know, he's been doing this thing with, like, um, back then with Pac and all them. He like, he older cat, but he, he, he on his shit. He's still on his grind. <laughs> for real. Um, other than that, I got a lot of projects, but I ain't gonna lie to you. It's more so I don't want to just be spilling shit on the table. Yeah, cause I, was, I seen something you was like, um, you rather quality over um, yeah, quality, quality, yeah, quality over that. quantity. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Cause I can put out a whole bunch of music, bro, but it ain't about that. Yeah. It ain't about streaming the numbers, cause it's still an art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you pulling out weak ass art, that's just sit on your name forever. Right. Mm -hmm. So you know, just timing, timing make timing make a lot of sense at the end of the day. I ain't just with the the uh, SoundCloud dropping music every day and just punching out just to get heard. Like yeah. I'm, I'm past that, man. It shit gotta count. It's timeless music, bro. But other than that, though, I, I got a few projects that y'all can look forward to. I'm just not going to be dropping no titles because it's all about the money weight. You feel all me? about the money weight. <laughs> it's the campaign for the money weight. You had a lot of features in the money weight. What made you want to go or like collaborate with a lot of people? Because it seems like... It, it, it's, think it's like good music. Good music. It, I don't really be looking at collaboration like that because if we... Because nine times out of ten, we in the studio together. Hanging. Oh, so you rather like so you rather be in the studio with somebody instead of, like them sent you the first over through an email? Oh, however, no, but however we got to make it work. Shit, we in the studio. I'd rather us being like firsthand. Like, yeah. like that, the chemistry is what counts on the yeah. music. Feel me? But if you can't make it, the digital world got to it. Like man, send me that shit. I'm gonna get it done. You feel right. me? Because it's still money to be made. It's still right. business to be handled. So other than that, shit, let's get in the studio though. You can knock something out. Feel me? Catch a vibe. That's when the best songs come out. Right. So, <laughs> uh, nah, so what, you need, what you need in the studio when you're recording? What's your process like? Shit, man, get some buzz. That's what they call me out here? Yeah, buzz. buzz? Yeah, we, we need high powered buzz. Buzz. We need butter rooms. Buzz. Buzz. <laughs> <Bites. laughs> what's some of the, what's hey, some the LA lingo though? Like, what are right. you saying out here? Are you free? You crazy? <laughs> What's that mean? Uh, uh, uh. That's, I mean, that's, I'm gonna give you some shit. Um, you gotta bring it down so they can understand, like city wise, every city. It's so man, it's a lot of lingo, bro. You want to speak Inglewood, got Inglewood, yeah, got yeah. LA. Where I'm from, we gonna say why. So we gonna we gonna speak how we speak. You know what I'm saying? What's the deal, fool? That's like. If I see you, I'll be like, what's the deal, fool? What's the deal, fool? You know what I mean? Like, you, that's like, what's up, bro? But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's the deal, fool? Is It's all about the tone and the manner. Yeah. Now, if I get up on you, I'm like, what's the deal, fool? Like, I'm just a different energy. I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> right. See, my brother, like, what's the deal, fool? What's going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? We got three up top. That's like a handshake. If I shake your hand. Three I'm up top? Three up top. That's a handshake. See, I don't want to do a handshake. <laughs> no. Pookie. Yeah, I'm on third street, man. So I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, three up top, you gotta do it right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. three up top, yeah. <laughs> Civil uh, <laughs> <laughs> And I say like, like it's mafia. I find like you know, mafia can mean several different things. I'm like, you mafia? I'm like, you good? You good? I'm, like, I'm mafia. I'm good. Like mafia over there. You know what I mean? Oh, that's mafia. <laughs> For real, I mean, like, you legit. legit. If I say you mafia, it means you good, or the situation good, pertaining to whatever I'm talking about. Right. And if it's not mafia, I'm going to let you know, like, it's all bad. So, so what do y'all call, like, hoes out here it's like that? Ah! <laughs> Thoughts, uh, woo wops, woo -wops. Uh, flips, flips, uh, wow. dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bops, bops, you know, gerbs sometimes, depending on what type of side, it's depending on what side of the city you're on. Everybody's so close, you feel me? That, like we neighboring cities, mm -hmm. so it's like Long Beach. They got an entirely different lingo. Yeah. Inglewood, 
entirely different lingo. Even West LA got an entirely different lingo than East LA. You know what I'm saying? It's all about where you at or who you dealing with. So you said you're from Watts, right? Yeah. Talk about how that's different. Cause that's not something that's like um, really thrown out there. Like when people oh, yeah. talk about like how life is in Watts. Honestly, man, growing up in Watts is like you. You see Minister Society? Yeah. All right, look, I'm from them projects. Minister them projects? Yeah, so <laughs> just take that picture and just hold it. A well-known image of what the shit takes place, it, it, really, it really happens. So I'm going to say just it make you tough for once because we, we taught to survive automatically. We are taught to survive. That's what watched me, right? mm -hmm. off, off the rip. So growing up, you already got an upper hand when I was telling you about being street smart and being book smart because there's a lot of intelligent people from the city. Right. It's more so we still get bred a little different as far as when it comes to attitude or kind of some type of spunk or anything in that nature. You feel me? We feel like we got that edge because when you when you build out the ghetto, bro, you got to understand because getting it out the mud, it's like it's way different than being something handed to you because you appreciate it more. So it's all about appreciating my life. I done seen so many of my homies die and go to jail to where I got this far in life. I know I'm something. Yeah. It ain't by luck. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to look at situations like that. It make you like, it depends on what kind of man you want to be in life. You mm -hmm. feel me? Or what type of female or, or success or whatever success story you want to hold, that's on your behalf. But me, more so just getting my people out of situations I know it, it, it ain't it ain't good for, they not that they not good for. Right. Like cuz you know anything you're going to be a product of your environment regardless of where you were hungry for. Where you live in, you if you've been there long enough, you're going to become a product of it. So a lot of my friends only gain memories cuz shit they 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 couldn't get out. Right. Now you just got to make the best of every situation. You got to turn lemons into lemonade and shit. So if we got sugar, what you think we going to do, bro? <laughs> Real talk. Yeah, you already know, huh? So what's called? Cool. Uh, there's a situation right. that's happened, like the Nessie Hustle situation. How did that feel? Like, how did that affect you? That was my bro, though, so. Like, so you knew Nipsey? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So it, I think that affected the whole fuck thing. I know for sure, like, the majority of the city felt that. You know, you got the ignorant ones out there or whatever, but we don't pay attention to clowns. So, you know, as far as, like, overall, yeah. I ain't the only one that felt that. Like, there's numerous of people that probably can give you a situation or a life story when dealing with them. But you, so give me like a like a funny story with you and Uh, we was in San Diego. And, um, I'm from Grape Street, right? So yeah. our colors are dark purple. Now I had I wasn't with Nip in San Diego. I had ran into him. So I was coming down from um, Sacramento, going to San Diego. I had a um, a show out there. I came really recall what day it was, but Nip had a show out there too. So after my show, I end up pulling up on Brother to support him at his show. Walk in, and now I had this rag on. It wasn't quite purple, but it was like a, uh, I want to say like, it's, it wasn't pink, but it, it, it wasn't purple though. It was like a, uh, a lavender or something. But you know, that was the closest thing to purple I had, you feel me? And I wanted to put my rag on, so. I walk in and um, be like, damn, Trim. You like, you got a starburst on your head. <laughs> like, you got a starburst on your head, bro. And I didn't know what he was talking about. He was like, man, that lavender rag. He like, I know you great, but he like, man, it look like you still a prune right now. <laughs> like, you ain't developed. <laughs> like, your rag ain't developed. Man, your rag lavender, that's supposed to be purple. But that's just one, like, you know, little funny moment. But it's never a dull moment with bro, though. You feel me? Because he always teaching something that you right. need so to you know. you a lot of love out to like, you artists and shit like that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Because that's the only way you don't get love back, man. Right. Yeah. It's energy. Right. So how you guys feel about the Kodak situation where, like, Kodak said about Lord of the How'd you take that? Man, look, man. <laughs> it, all right, so. Remember I was telling you, like, we don't pay attention like, clown um, shit? Yeah. Like, from when people like bluntly disrespect people like that, in the situation of time, you gotta understand something wrong with them as a person. Right? So you can't even. You, you think they're gonna be like, oh, cool, like a pass come to LA or is it like a long go for him? Oh, no, he gotta talk to somebody. Because Nipsey ain't just like, no, you feel me? He, he belonged to the Crips. So, let alone like the community firsthand, like the Crips. 
Yeah. You feel me? Like, Crips got a lot of say so in LA. So yeah. when you touch down out right here, like, you have to talk to somebody regardless. Like, you know, mm -hmm. that's everybody talk. No matter if I, like, if I go to Florida, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, when I land, I'm going to call my homies. I'm going to call my folks. I'm going to let them know I'm in town. You know? You so, you, so you bring people to check in when it comes to other cities and shit like that? Yeah, yeah I, I'm going to call some. It ain't called. See, checking in sounds right. so bad when you say it that way. Because that's but it's more so about. Moving smart and right. being strategic. Right. You don't want to go to nobody else's neck of the woods. You don't know shit, and right. something happened to you. And once something happened to you, then you start calling around like, "Oh man, I got jacked or robbed or jumped, or whatever." And then, you, and then your friends be like, "Then why you tell me you was out here, man? We could have been with you, and that shit could have been prevented." Right. See, that's the definition of whole shit. You don't don't wait till something happened to you to call for help. So that's what, you, that's what people are saying, like the whole six nine situation when he came to LA. Like, he should just like check in, like just yeah. The six nine probably was. He act like he didn't have to. Like, it's it's a it's not an industry rule, but it's 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 a self rule. Like you gotta understand when you go into somebody else's stomach grounds, something could potentially happen to you. I'm not saying that the people are gonna do something, but the community, everybody don't have a say so over everybody. So you got some ignorant people out there that'll do something to you because you worth some money. Yeah. Now. Don't wait until something happens to you to start Talk calling to around right. for help or trying to find people and shit because it's not going to work. Because it's going to be more so like, man, you should have told you it was coming. You know you're high profile. You know you're worth a lot of money. Why would you want to be out here, out here unprotected mm -hmm. in any way, shape, or form? So how did you react to when the whole 69 situation happened? How did you react to that? I don't fuck with 69 at all whatsoever. I never fucked with it. Period? Never. Well, now, some of his music he got some cool songs. Yeah. But they don't got nothing to do with him. He's a fuck boy. <laughs> Knew he was a fuck boy before he told on everybody. <laughs> I swear. What, made, what, what, what about him made it seem like? What, made, what about him made it seem like he's a fuck boy? When he said, "Pick it with the sticky." <laughs> <laughs> no, more so the way, uh, more so the way you move and the, like your attitude towards shit. Like when it come to real life situations, you know, you know somebody ain't never been through a certain type of um, heartful loss or just being put in a situation to where they feel like, damn, life is real, or this game banging shit is real, or you know what I'm saying, you playing with a culture, so, yeah. when people out here going you know, to jail for life and losing their lives over some shit, that you, behind some shit that you playing with, right. people gonna be offended, especially those that took the loss. Right. So you got people in jail, like damn, I'm gonna, I can say, or even from the blood's perspective, when they be happy, you doing all this, red ragged, you putting a you putting a red rag red flag in front of everything you do, so you're trying to stand for a community. You're standing for something, but at the same time you antagonizing. You 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 you, you stirring up all type of drama, and then when it's time to face the bullshit in front line, you know where to be found. All right. So that's like you throwing rocks you high in your hands. Ain't you, nobody gonna never respect it. So you think gaming is kind of watered down now? Like there's like everybody in it? All the way. Sorry. How was it back when you was Jordan? Like, did you have to get jump in? What was the situation? Like? Structure. It was structure. I got caught it on. I got caught it on for sure. Structure though. I got caught on long enough, man. Yeah, like like everybody just running like as a trend now. Like everybody just. That's why it ain't no more structure. So it's hard to respect something. Now, I'm gonna respect where I come from because I know what my people have been through. But just as a whole, as an entire like, yeah, that shit watered down. I would never tell nobody coming up under me to be from nowhere, bro. I don't even waste your time. I mean, you gonna get the. You will live more and free, like you have a, a, I don't want to say a better life or a better output, but you have a better chance of succeeding or just getting out if you didn't gain bang, just because it's easier to network with people and you can go outside that box and reach out to people. When you from a gang, you like limited to certain shit. Right. And it's not because of your homies. <laughs> certain people not going to deal with you because that's when it involves trust and it's certain trust issues, you know what I'm saying? So me being from a gang has limit, limited me to doing a lot of shit. But just me, like, I, me, I think I move different. Uh, I got a different mentality. So me always networking or moving outside the box or dealing with people from the other side never been a problem because it's, it's all about energy, you feel me? But everybody not blessed like me, bro. So majority of the time, if, a, if somebody game banging, they gonna put their they life behind it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back then, I probably would have, but I got daughters, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit move different, so I look at life, you know what I'm saying? This nigga game, man. <laughs> so, so on top of where you see yourself within like the next five years, as far as musically. Musically? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh man, look. I don't. I, when it come to me, I don't put time on shit, right? You don't put time. I'm not big on time. I ain't gonna lie to you, cause it's like, 
I, I like to manifest things, and, and I don't worry about the the who's, the how's. I just worry about the do's and don'ts, you feel me? So I don't worry about no time or how long something's going to take or how it's going to happen. I don't, I don't worry about that. I just put forth the energy and, 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 and the blood, sweat, and tears, bro. And then when shit, when the ball roll over, then that's when it happened. But you can't really put time on it. Like, man made time. So if you go to try to keep it up with a man you never met, then you will never be... You will never be on time. So it's all about just the harder you work, the better results and the faster the results. You know what I'm saying? But by then, most definitely, like, Billboard Top 100 is back to back and shit already, man. You know what I'm saying? In due time, it's due already. I've been doing it for a while, though, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing it, I've been doing it for a while, but I haven't been taking it seriously until, like, from the past five years. I've been on my shit, like, staying focused. But other than that, like, Shit, you know, successful. Right. Everybody got their different success story, though. Right. That's, that's a fact. So, who are some people in the industry you like to work with that you haven't worked with already? Yet? Um, fabulous. Fabulous. Uh, Jay Z. Yeah, that's a whole bunch of New York shit. Like, you don't, you listen to a lot, a lot of LA rappers. I fuck, yeah, I fuck with. I see my favorite rapper from New York. Though. New York, right? Fab. I fuck with Fab. I fuck with Fifty. I fuck with Joel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's, it, but he, I deal with all the battle rappers and shit. You know, like, I, that's how I started off yeah, rapping, gosh, battle rapper, bro. Yeah. That's my, that was my thing. I used to rap in daylight closet, like they like the all uh, dude that be doing like the battle rapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arsenal and all them, them are my homies. Yeah, you got to talk about your with daylight. Yeah, smart dude. So he's been doing them antics just for like the. Uh, yeah, that's that, and that's one thing, and that's. Okay, the antics come from like just to get attention, right? Get attention. He just proves the fact that you can be talented, you can be smart, but nobody's gonna pay attention to shit until you basically go against your morals. Right. And you know we all got separate morals. You know what I'm saying? So by him being a straight, a, uh, a heterosexual individual, by him pretending to be uh, uh, homosexual, that went viral because you going against your morals and you humiliating yourself even though it's not true. That's what the world want to see, whether it's humiliation or like crime or some, some endangerment type of shit, like shit that's negative. That go viral way faster and that's all he do. He put forth like the shit right in your face. Like he tell you, I'm gonna do this and do that and I guarantee you I get y'all attention. And he does it and everybody be like, oh man, they're gay. <laughs> you be like, damn, I had to act gay for y'all to pay attention to this. Rather than me trying to give y'all a message and give you the message this way, y'all don't pay attention to it. So, you know. Could you fight yourself something like that? No, we different people though. You know, we got. I, it depends on how you how you speaking upon it. Now, like, I'm I wouldn't like go like, uh, you know, how people do Instagram rants and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I wouldn't go about it the way he did. But as far as like, you have to uh, subconsciously put the message out there in the heads. Like, you won't pay attention to certain shit that you dislike. Now, subconsciously, you don't know that you'll see a fight on Instagram and stop to watch it. Before you see some shit like somebody singing or something, you know, you be like, oh man, I don't see that shit. Right. Somebody throwing on me like, man, you see that shit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact. But it's all a subconscious thing. So if you can, if if I can teach you subconsciously without you knowing, if I can teach you without you knowing, that's better than me teaching you while you knowing because you can revoke shit. You can stop yourself from learning. You can stop listening. But if you don't never know you're learning while you're listening, then shit, man, it's just free game. Yeah. So, um, as far as like um, working, um, working with uh, next tape, right? Is there anybody you want to work with, like, like other cities that's coming up? Oh, uh, from other cities? Yeah. Is anybody connected with? Anybody you tapped in with? I Man, I'm tapped in with so many people, but it's like, uh. Yeah, man, we trying to, be, you know, what I'm saying, I'm trying to expand, bro, but. I got, I got a lot of friendships in this shit, so it's like, music don't never be the first thing we discuss. Yes. Yeah, feel me? I, I, I'll be hanging with my, like, you know, I'll be around watching them all the time, bro, all day. And we, don't, we ain't talking about music. You know what I'm saying? Me and Nipsey never talked about music. You feel me? Man, this, now we don't talk about music. It's funny. Like, that, it's really a job. So it's like, you no, know, when we get around to that, it's like, well, that's what we're going to do. But, shit. Man, Ty, my bro, you know, Ty Dolla Sign. Ty Dolla Sign. I, I, I got old songs with Ty Dolla Sign. Bro. Really? Yeah, cool. I got some music with Ty Dolla Sign. Man, look. So it's like, I think it's everybody working together out here. It's not be like everybody beefing, like nobody scared to work with each other. Um, no, don't. No, 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 no. No, don't. I'm not giving you. I hate to say it, but that is not true. That's not true? It's not like Atlanta and shit. You know what I'm saying? 
we trying to get that back and going though. We trying to get that unity shit going for us, like just building one another up. Mm -hmm. That's what we working on right now as a whole. You feel me? You think a whole Nipsey situation happened? Because I seen people like it's so like a lot of people coming together united. Yeah, and it's fucked up that something like that gotta happen in order for something like this to happen. Right. So let's try not to lose a life just to bring more lives together. We shouldn't have nobody should have to die for niggas to be like, oh, that's enough. Right. Like this is niggas cousins died, uncles, little brothers, homies. So many people died before people started to understand. Like it shouldn't have to take Nipsey. You feel me? Like, oh, like, damn, we don't, we don't need to be going through this. This should have been that when you lost your little homie. It should have been that when you lost your little brother. It should, you know what I'm saying? But I'm glad that people starting to wake up now. But it, it ain't gonna happen overnight, bro. You feel me? It's it, it gonna take time, but it's happening though. That's the main That's thing. The main thing right? So, so how you feel about the West Coast scene, like the LA scene, like Blueface and Roddy Rich? How you feel? Like, you feel we like popping. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we popping. We popping. Yeah, I ain't gonna speak on nobody's talent or nothing, but I fuck with both of them young niggas. Real okay. they, they, they you know, know them shit. personally or do you have a relationship? Yeah, I know them personally. Okay. Now, as far as relationship wise, like Roddy, he cool. I don't, I don't really like know, but it's, he like, he's so close. I know his people, his family, but you so close. It's like, okay, that's like family. But far as like real individual relationships, like not with Roddy, but we know of each other, like we know each other, yeah. nothing like that, but. I ain't gonna say it tell you like, oh yeah, that's my little bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. you, know, you feel me? But Blueface, that's my young nigga. He cool. I know Blueface. He straight. How you feel? How you feel about the LA scene? Like, how you feel like? Do you feel like it's gonna be like uh, Atlanta right now? Or um, it see, it be I, like it's not even like as far as Rudy Gary, as far as like pop and like everybody's booming from this. Yeah, he said, Ash, you know, Ash over there. Oh, he said, y'all know Blueface. Tell him for Blueface up. Blue, I know Blueface because of him. You want to get on camera? Alright, this is the <laughs> interview right now. Say no questions. Yeah, I know. Yeah, see, yeah, you can say no questions, but I know, I know a lot of people because of this nigga. Let him do his thing. <laughs> he gonna tell you. That's why I just sit back. I'm listening. Like, damn. You play a big part of the music industry. Music industry. My boy. How'd you meet him? What's your name, bro? That's that's Pookie. Turn that's King of Turn Up. Pookie F. Rude. How how you meet him? Talk about your relationship with him. Ah, tell him the true story. True story. True story. All right, so <laughs> 2008, remember I was telling you about how all the gangs was hang, starting to hang together? Yeah. Okay, he's from Long Beach. Baby Insane Crip. You know, that's, no. Probably it's the, that's Sabi Third in the front. You know, he might, 28, 29, 30, 30. So we run, I'm 29. So we a different era, but I'll say about 2008, seven, 2007, we was um doing the footwork. Push in um, the homie y, YG yes. and the homie um, PC, Free PC. They had a show at this uh, at the Knitted Factory in, in Hollywood. And um, we ran it, well, we was walking down Hollywood Boulevard and it was a rivalry gang walking up. And they started calling out they said or whatever. But now, out of all the people that's out here, I'm the only rivalry gang that don't get along with them. So, so they like, Feel me? They saying they shit like yeah. Who do who, who from Grape out here? Ooh, ooh. And I was the only one from Grape. So I'm like, damn man. They are run down on you. Yeah. So and this is when I was talking. You know, getting active and shit. So, like, I don't got no blower. It's a strap. Bing bing. The better. I don't got it on me. So I'm like, man, who got a strap? I don't even know this man from a can of paint. He gave me his artillery. Tell me a question. Yeah, that that oh, right. that right there already let me know what type of dude he was, cause I'm not, you know, I don't know you like that man. Give me strap, he gave me a strap. That's the boy, you can't you give somebody your strap, that's like man, that's for real. You don't know this motherfucker use it on me, you don't know how. He gave me a strap. We were like, man, you good, cause I my shit was way in the car and it was finna go down. I'm saying, man, I need the thing. Like, man, I got you. <laughs> I'm like, all right, ever since then, it's like, yeah, bro, A1, me. Bro, been solid ever since, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. So you said forward. Did, y did you used to dance or something like that? <laughs> 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 hey, you cold. You pay attention now. You can't. That's funny. <laughs> no, yeah. I still be dancing and shit. Dancing like, some of you dancing. Now, hear that? I ain't gonna bust no bulls out right now, man. No, but. What type of dancing were you like? 
Not that kind of dance. I ain't. I wouldn't do no Chocolate City moves or <laughs> shit like that. But you know, just the LA culture. You feel me? So you know, like we you. had like. I'm a, I'm a clown, dancing. clown dancing, jerking, crib walking. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Anything that the that the West Coast culture that came about with. Oh yeah, that ain't coming from jerking. Yeah. Jerk all that. Yeah. Yes, you gotta understand. I forgot about that. Yeah. We started jerking. Yeah. Push it in. All, we started jerking. All them. So think about it. You got some niggas that's game banging with nines and forties on them. And they got on skinny jeans and shit. Colorful skinny jeans and man. Niggas whipping out guns. You said, wait, hold on. I'm confused. <laughs> That was us. That's, that's when LA was fun, like the fun times just like that. There was a fun time. <laughs> Shoe strings and belts and shit. We, we had fun back then. That's when the culture was breaking in the new culture. Yeah. So everybody was saying shit like, oh man, y'all fucking up hip hop and woo. Yeah, back then, but then you gotta see everybody started getting on the wave though. So like so like that's like the whole so that was during like the soldier wave time with the wave, right? Uh, uh, soldier boy was before us. Before us. Oh new boys. Oh new boys, yeah. New boys, two to the booty top. So, oh yeah, I forgot why you yeah. did that. Two to the booty. <laughs> you know, the video y'all seen was the second video. It was a, uh, a video before that, the original one. Uh, you was yeah. in there or something like that? Yeah, I was in both of them, but I'm saying the original video was more like all the people you see popping in hip hop now. They in it. Who's the people that's in it? Oh, um, shit. Know. Was you in that motherfucker too, Pookie? Or you in uh, Shucker? Right. Ty, I know Ty, Joe Moses. All the PC in PC, yeah, Reen Riches, TC4800. There's a lot of people in that uh, that's popular. Shit, me. A few people, bro. <laughs> a few people, I ain't gonna lie. A few people. That's what's up, that's what's up. Is there anything you wanna like, let the people know? Hey, man. Whatever you doing in life, keep doing it. Because once you stop, that's the only time you're gonna be considered a failure. And you're gonna beat yourself up about it, I'm telling you now. If you quit doing anything that you really love doing, it's, it ain't gonna sit well on your mind when you go to sleep, bro. Real talk. But anybody, sis, bro, uncle, auntie, even grandmama and papi, my mom and daddy, look. Consistency is everything, you feel me? Because you, you can fail, you can fall, as long as you get up, you feel me? Well, you know. Once you fail, people get discouraged, but if you ain't gonna let that discourage you, nine times out of ten, you'll be successful if you keep going. Because you only can learn, uh, learn and grow, you feel me? Learn and grow. As long as you don't quit, you're gonna always learn and grow. So always find out the, 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 the things you can transpire with in life out of every situation that, that, that comes falling down on you. Because if you don't know how to level up, bro, you ain't gonna get nowhere. You're gonna be idle. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna be idle, then you know, you. You never, if you don't want no problems, no headaches, then don't do nothing like it. Shit, just go sit on the couch, and smoke some weed. But if you got an adventure, you know what I'm saying, you're trying to be successful, you know what I'm saying, you got to lay out, then go for it. For real. Let them know your social media and shit like that. Oh, yeah, look, everything, three trilliano. You put the three in front of it, you hear me? Yeah. It's trilliano. You throw the three in front of that thing, you hear me? You throw the three in front of that thing. Mm. Let them know where we at too, like where yeah, we see we we downtown and we look we downtown LA right now. We at 30 cap, you hear me? 30 cap. So when you come to LA, <laughs> real shit, you come down to you come to Los Angeles, come downtown, look, down the street from the Staples Center. 30 cap. Tell them Trilliano sent you. 30 cap. They had the best dope out here or something? Man, what dope smoke? <laughs> dope smoke. I'm gonna let y'all get some dope smoking on the camera that y'all see. It's dope smoke here. 30 cap. Wait, what you, well, how do you like? Tell them how that is, right? You know, this is like the nation when it comes to weed, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit better than anything going. Like, do whatever y'all smoking. I guarantee you, when y'all smoking Cali weed, y'all gonna feel like Boosie and them be feeling. I mean, you hear them? They always grab my Cali weed. Cause it's for real. For real. For real, for real. Ain't none of that watered down shit. None of that. We got that real OG. Man, I've been smoking um glue. Glue? I was a cookie fan for like years, but I've been smoking Gorilla Glue, G4 for man. Can't stop smoking it. How'd you even get into smoking? Just like Man, see look, hey, you pick up it's the product of the environment, bro, you know what I'm saying? You try something, you like it. I just learned to I just learned to not abuse the situation. To, what's up, fool? What's up, man? What's the deal with you? I just learned how not to uh, abuse the situation. You feel me? But. 
But you know, it's not abuse if you still can maintain. Abuse is when you're doing shit beyond your limits. Yeah, you can maintain with anything you're doing. That's cool. We behind our limits last night. We was high. We was high as a rap. High as a rap. Alien throws. Hey, no, I've been smoking for like. Yeah, check it out. I started smoking in college though. College? Real talk. Fresh me in. And it started off with, I'm only gonna smoke on Thursday. Okay, Thursdays, and then I'm gonna start smoking Sunday because I had class Monday through uh, Thursday. No, Thursday was my Friday. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm only, I'm only smoking on Thursdays through the weekend. Then, you know, back to regular schedule programming. Man, do you know school was getting so hectic? <laughs> and one day I walked in the room and said, man, I'm smoking on a Monday. <laughs> I don't got time. And ever since then, it's like, I stopped, I used to beat myself up about it, about smoking during the week. I swear, like, man, you smoking during the week, oh, you tripping. I learned how to stop giving a fuck <laughs> because of this. Oh! <laughs> you got a tattoo your neck, talk about what's that say? Oh, that's Daytona, man, that's my first. My young Wait. daughter, bad as hell. Yeah, man, wallet. Right. What's out, best point on your TV for doing this interview? Look, man, y'all know what's going on. Hold on, let me hit this motherfucker real good first. I've been holding this for a while now. I know y'all like, damn, never pass the wood. Mm. Best point of view TV, y'all know what's going on because they getting the best point of view, especially when they talking about the trillions. Uh. Yeah. yeah, that part. <laughs> so fat ass up. <laughs> Man, y'all know what's going on. I've been smoking going round and round and round. And we been downtown at 30 cap. 30 cap. 30 cap. 30 cap. 30 cap. You know 30 cap. 30 cap, right? Because they got that old. For 30. Can that? <laughs> you see my eyes, right? You see them? Roll them. Roll them. Look. <laughs> <laughs> we high as a motherfucker at 30 cap. Come down to 30 cap. <laughs> and they show love. Look at that. I love them. So tell them you want that old. Trilliano sent you with Pookie Rude. Stay lit. Always. I'm just trying to live my life, hoping to make the right decisions Cause I wanna live it right, I remember nights No sleep, feeling weaker than seven days Now I'm using my clever ways to make sure my song's getting played But these niggas doubt me, they think I'm not gonna make it But soon I'm gonna be rich and happy, they girl getting naked I promise you I'm the best, Supreme Knox, she am on the ride Smoking dope when I'm getting high, spirit she floating to the sky I wonder, is they go think I'm a joke because I'm a youngster Going for the green and they probably stunk in the bunker I gotta make it, cause being broke is not really my comfort zone I kill competitive 